Hello, welcome back and Merry Christmas. First off, I'd like to apologise for not getting any content out last week. I've had a few health issues which have sort of um, kicked me for six, let's say. And uh, it's just caused me to slow down production of a few videos. Um, so yeah, I just couldn't get one out last week. But this week, I'm going to do a review on a, another Bluetooth headset. I listen to Bluetooth all the time and any of you who, you know, are regular viewers will know I've got like 50 different sets of Bluetooth headsets. Some I love, some just stay in a box and never get touched. But we'll review this one and I'll give my opinion on it. All opinions are my own and I'm not paid to do this. I buy all of the stuff unless I otherwise indicate. I buy everything myself out of my own money and then um, do honest reviews so you can sort of guarantee that if I don't like it I'm going to tell you rather than suck up to someone so that I get free product, whatever. Right, let's get straight into it. Okay, so that's how it came. And um, it was just one of those scabby um, gray bags. They obviously didn't care about getting broken and stuff. And as I was throwing the bag away, I noticed this bit of stuff. And um, that is, believe it or not, part of it. Now, the one thing, in the pictures, now I don't read descriptions very often, I mean to, and then I just sort of click on stuff and so on. But one of the versions of this is bone conductive, and one of them is not. And I just randomly clicked the, the one that wasn't by mistake. And also, um, it always looks very metallic in the pictures. It's very, very well pictured, but it is very, very cheap plastic. You know, you'd snap it and it will shatter rather than break, you know. There are three buttons. On button, up and down, whether that's volume or next and whatever on the playlist, I'm not sure. And then this here is what shoots the sound into your ear. Now, with just that, without this bit on, it the sound is awful. You you can hear it better from a distance than you can right up. You know, you need it on full blast so it's hurting your ears to be able to hear it over any other sound. With this, it does make a bit of a difference. Um, but that doesn't quite look like the cool pictures they try to fob you off with, like this, or, yeah, you see what I'm saying? So, this bit goes on your ear like this, let me try and put it on without messing everything up. Oh, my hair's too big, it's always in the blinking way. There's a reason I'm growing my hair long, I will inform you of it when it's relevant. Um, okay, so it goes like that, um, and basically, I, as I say, I thought it was bone conductive and that it would fire, the, it would vibrate against your ear canal and then you'd hear it, but it doesn't. It just fires the sound into your ear, and it's awful. So the middle one is the on button, and then in Chinese it says pairing or on or something, I'm not sure what. And it should have auto paired because obviously I've been trying this for a while. And let's find something to listen to. Something that's amazing, great, fantastic. You know, something that you just couldn't live without. What could I find? Let's see. Oh, this guy is handsome. You'll like him. Um, let me just bloopity doop. So, look at him. Jesus, looking good. I mean, nothing I like, but very handsome. I'd follow him if you don't. Subscribe, he's brilliant. Now, let me turn this one off, actually. As you'll hear, and you need it virtually at full blast to be able to hear without it getting very distorted when it's next to your ear you can hear it but it's very it's not it's not very nice that's all but um one thing i liked was that you can wear it in it both either ear because ones i've got that um i've bought are just for your right ear or whatever but put it on and i tried it out first off in the bedroom and because I thought it was bone conductive, I said to the wife, oh, you probably won't be able to hear this, but I'll let you have a go in a second. And then realised it wasn't. And she was like, wow, I can hear that from here. And I was struggling to hear it because it sort of fires past your ear. As I was screwing up the grey piece of stuff um, that it came in, um, I noticed this. And this basically goes on like so. And it's a bit of a pain to slide on. Now, the one thing I will say that is really good for it is 
the fact that it's um, it is comfortable. Um, you don't notice you're wearing. I wore it for the full day, not not with it on. I just wanted to see if it was comfortable enough to wear for a day, and I'd actually forgotten it was there. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not used to having long hair, so that could also be a factor because I quite quite often block out that my hair's annoying me. Um, but there it is, and with this on, it fires it more directly into your ear. Um, but the problem is, you can still hear it from around you. So, whereas with these, because they plonk straight in your ear, and it sort of closes off the outside world a bit as well, you can't hear it. You, you, you know, I can play my audio quite loud, and no one around me can hear it. It's, bit, getting, it's not loud to anyone else because it's being fired straight into my ear canals, and I'm picking it up. Whereas this one is still basically using my ear as a radar dish and it's firing to other people so it's there's negatives and positives it connected immediately there was no problems with connecting at all um let me just check what it was called when i had to connect to it the y12 quite hard to remember um it connected immediately there was no connectivity issues and i was ready to go the battery life on it is not too bad i've used it for about two or three hours and i was still using it when i put it onto charge um, I needed I needed to just stop, so I, I, it hasn't run out of battery yet for me. But um, as I say, it, it's the the noise when you've got it up loud enough so you can hear it comfortably around. So let's say you're in a noisy room and you turn it up loud enough to hear it. You're not the only person listening, and you find that you've had to have it up so loud that it causes you to sort of. I can imagine it's hurting your ears when you have these up loud. You don't need them up very loud because they're going straight into your ear hole. So you're not damaging yourself as much. Whereas this one has to be really loud to get to your ear. So I'm I'm undecided. There are it's it does have its good points and it does have its bad points. So let's wrap up the review then. One good thing that I haven't mentioned is I can hide it under my hair, so no one knows I'm listening to it except that they can hear it. Um right, so Ergonomically, it's very comfortable. You you forget you're wearing it. It's very, very lightweight. I'm sure it says on the website, but I haven't bothered looking. I'll put something in there if I can be bothered. Um, so it's very light. It's very comfortable, so you do not know you're wearing it. Um, the negatives of it, though... Oh, and the battery life is very good. You know, so far I've, I've charged it every time I'm not using it, but it hasn't died on me yet. Um, the negatives... This thing, if they put it in black, it wouldn't be such a problem, but it, it sticks out like a sore thumb. You know, you might not see the black next to my hair, but you definitely see a big white thing hanging around my ear. Um, and the need for it, it just seems stupid. The fact that you need it up so loud to be able to hear it comfortably is a problem. Um, uh, but if you don't mind listening to loud things in your ears all the time, then by all means go ahead and do it. The fact that it's made of a very, very poor quality plastic makes me think well, makes me distrust having a um, a battery that close to my ear. Um, that said, I've got cheaper things with cheaper plastic and they, sh they go in my ear and I wear them quite often. So, you know, a bit biased there, I think. All in all, it cost me, I think, about £6, including postage. It's not bad for the price. You know, it, it's okay for the price. It's not, it's not going to break the bank. And it's a good thing that if you lose it, buy another one. It's not like, you know, you've lost um, AirPods or any of that sort of thing. You lose this, you go, oh, damn. Okay, well, I'll just get another one. It's a problem because I have to wait for another one. But um, I wouldn't choose it over something like this. But this cost me about £20. This cost me, as I say, about £6. So I could buy at least four of these for around the same price. Um, I'm not sure if you can connect two. Um, it does say you can, but I've got a lot of uh, Bluetooth headsets that I've got two of and you try and connect them to a device and they won't connect both to the device um, but they do say that you can have one in each ear I'm not sure if that's true and I haven't got another one to try but all in all I'm on the fence with this one this one's like a preference thing the, I've outlined the positives and the negatives um, so basically it's up to you down to you whether you want to buy it they are cheap enough, so if you don't like it, just gift it to someone else, you know. My kids have a lot of the old uh, Bluetooth things I get. I often don't use. I wouldn't let them have this one because I know they'd deafen themselves in a few hours because they'd have it on full blast all the time. Um, 
But other than that, as I say, it's not bad. Um, totally your choice if you buy it. Um, I will. I'll put a link down in the bottom just so you can come and uh, go to see this one, this exact one I bought, and then you make your own mind up. Okay, I hope that helped some of you decide whether you want to buy one or not buy one. Um, I try and make my reviews as honest as I can and let you guys make up your own minds. You know, sometimes I have something that's so awful it's just, I will say, it's the most awful thing ever. Other times I have stuff that's really good and this one is just on the fence. It's your decision. Anyway, I hope that has helped and I hope you have a wonderful Christmas. Um, I will have another video out until at, just after Christmas, I believe. But I might be wrong, I can't remember. My days are, since lockdown, I'm just all over the shop. I don't know what I'm doing. But you do have a wonderful Christmas, and I hope your loved ones and you are staying safe. And I hope you get to meet whoever you need to during the Christmas period, if the laws allow. Anyway, thanks so much for watching, and I will see you again next week. Bye for now.